WNYT, Albany in HD. News Channel 13, live at noon, begins right now. Also, an interactive experience for the entire family. We'll tell you about the annual event called Journey Through the Body. That's coming up. News Channel 13 and St. Peter's Health Services are teaming up again this year for a journey through the body. Bring your kids to Colony Center today and tomorrow, and they'll learn about good health while walking through a giant heart or brain. Bob Kovacic and Benita Zahn will be there tonight live in our evening newscast. From WNYT, Albany in HD. News Channel 13, live at 5, begins right now. Time now for a look at your first warning forecast. Let's head out to Chief Meteorologist Bob Kovacic and Benita Zahn, who are taking a journey through the body at Colony Center. Hi, guys. Hi hey, there. It Go is ahead. a good journey. It is a good journey. We're here again, and it's, uh, it's great. A big crowd already, so it's going to be lots of fun again this year. And there are some new things that they've got on tap for you tonight. 13 displays that run the entire length of Colony Center. We're going to take you on a journey through some yep. of the new and exciting things. We're going to meet some people here, some of the younger set who are touring all the exhibits, interactive exhibits. And they love the gushy stuff. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like the gushy stuff. So, <laughs> the question, though, is, yeah. Bob, is this a good weekend to come on down to Colony Center? It's chilly. Center? It's March. So you want to oh. be inside? Yes. March winds. It's cold. Let's take a look at uh, what's going on. Temperatures around the region. Cool and breezy, so you're not going to be outside running around playing or planting. You come on in and check out the exhibits here at Journey Through the Body. And it's educational and it's fun, and Rich Frederick is doing all the camera work for us tonight. So hats off to Rich. Rich, take a quick look and just show everybody how many people are here. We'll be open until 9 o'clock tonight. Tomorrow it runs until from 10 until 6. So uh, come on down and uh, take the journey. Yeah, it's fun, right? On Colony Center, just outside of Sears. We're all out here. Check it out. All right, we'll be back with a lot more coming up. Jim? All right, we'll see you later on. Thank you. Now, your first warning forecast with meteorologist Bob Kabachi. Well, hi again, everybody. We are live here at Colony Center for Journey Through the Body. It's a great time. Come on out as these youngsters wave to the camera, guys. See this man is standing, that's Richie holding the camera there. We're having a great time here. A lot of exhibits to check out this weekend until tonight, tonight till what time? Till 10 o'clock and tomorrow from 10 to 6. It's great. A lot of interactive activities for the kiddos. Let's quickly check the weather because it's cold. Allison is joining me now. She's a dietitian at St. Peter's. Allison, you've got grapes. We've got peas. Come on in here, grapes, a little bit so we can see your great outfits. Tell us a little bit about the diet uh, people should follow. So you might Get be to the side so they can see the poster there. Okay. You might be familiar with my pyramid. The my pyramid is out, and we've moved to my plate. The point of the plate is it's a more visual thing for people because when you think of food, you don't really think of a pyramid. And the the main ideas are that half of your plate should be fruits and vegetables, fruits and vegetables. A quarter of your plate should be lean meats or vegetable proteins, and a quarter of your plate should be grains. Half of your grains should be whole grains, but the more the merrier. And that's kind of the gist, still an emphasis on dairy and still an emphasis on exercise and physical activity. Great, Allison. Thank you. Boys and girls, did you get that? No candy bars. Well, maybe once in a while. Fruits, veggies, grains, protein, dairy. No candy bars. I should talk, but anyway, that's the <laughs> diet you should follow. Thank you very much, Allison. Back with more from Colony Center here. Journey through the body tonight and tomorrow. We'll see you in a few minutes. Back to Jim. All right. Thank you, Bob. And no protest here. I'm Benita Zahn live at Colony Center for Journey Through the Body. We're going to see if how good my oxygen level is, Debbie. Oh, let's see. We've got to give it a second here. Pretty good because we did this before and we can't wait, but we're going to come back. This is just one of the many things you can do here at Journey Through the Body. We're going to take you on the tour right after this. You and your family can take an interactive health journey this weekend. Benita Zahn joins us once again from Colony Center to show us more on what families can expect as they journey through the body. Hey, Benita. Hi there, Jim. This is so much fun. You know, stuff that you think only adults would do. Here, the kids have an opportunity to take part. Mary's with us now, and she's got uh, Cassidy, who's all hooked up for an EKG. Such a little gal. Sure, it's a little gal. She's all set. She's ready. Her heartbeat is right here. And she's good to go. And that's part of the fun, is that's they really the see exactly what's going They're on. They're so excited. You can tell by her little face. What do you think? 
<laughs> yeah, I know. Cassidy's not the talker, but her brother Franklin, I think, is ready to talk. He's got, oh, just a friend getting ready to jump in. But you know, this is just one of 13 displays that are here, and then a lot of little things as well. So since time is tight and we want you to come on down, we're going to take you on a tour. It's a day of excitement and delight, and of course, learning as you take your journey through the body. Learning about the inner workings of your body and how to keep it healthy. There are places you can stop and measure your progress. What does that tell a parent? Um, just tells them how well their child's growing, how they're doing with them nutritionally, um, and just gives them a basis on perhaps how well they'll, how big they'll be when they get to be 18. And of course, everybody has to get a lesson in how to keep their choppers gleaming. We show them the sugars and then we show them how to brush them off. That's what we're doing. All about education. That's right. Do you brush your teeth every day? Yes. How many times? Three times. Very good. There probably isn't a body part that isn't explored and explained. And perhaps the best is you can get your hands right into things. Because after all, it is a journey through the body. And you can come on down, have your own tour till 9 o'clock tonight. It opens up again tomorrow at 10, runs till 6 o'clock. And right now, Pablo is uh, in one of the chairs. Check he just checked out his heartbeat. Look good? Yeah, yeah, he's having fun. So come on down. We're going to be back here in a little bit, going to take you on tours of some of the other things you haven't quite seen yet, Jim. And really neat stuff, some new things this year. That's it for now. Let's head back over to Bob for an update on the forecast. Robert. All right, Jim, I have a lot of good help here tonight. Katie, the forecast is going to come up on the screen. Right. You're a meteorologist for the moment. Go. All right. <laughs> Go ahead. Punch up the forecast, guys. It'll come up. Just give it a second. There right. we go. So tomorrow's forecast, it'll be 51 degrees with a sunny start, afternoon clouds south, and it'll be still a bit breezy and chilly. Now the seven days coming up. Hang All on. right. There we go. Just give a general view of that. All right. So Saturday and sunny, it'll be about um, 50, 51 degrees. Monday, it'll be 61. Tuesday, 66. Warmer. Good. Oh, warmer. Warmer. Warmer, yeah. Deal. Warmer in the forecast. <laughs> Pretty good weekend, but chilly. Come on out, too. Thank you, Katie. Colony Center, boys and girls. There's the camera. Everybody wave and say what? What are you going to say? Come on down to County Center. Nice and loud. Come on down to County Center. Come on down to County Center tonight or 10 to 6 tomorrow. Journey through the body. Good job. Okay. Wave. Wave, everybody. Wave to Richie over there. See you back in a few minutes. To you, Jim. From WNY2, Albany, in HD. News Channel 13, live at 5.30, begins right now. Time now to get a check of our county-by-county county weather. For that, let's head back to Chief Meteorologist Bob Kovacic, who is live at Colony Center. Bob. All right, Elaine, thank you. We are here at Journey Through the Body, and we're talking about hands. Let's do a little weather quickly first, and then we'll uh, talk to the youngsters here. Beth, just hang on one second with that. Let's talk weather. All right. Let's talk about dirty hands. Beth, go ahead. All right, you're going to take it here. You're going to rub them together. She's rubbing her hands together with germs on the bottle. On the bottle, she's going to put it under the infrared. Yeah. Go ahead, under. Beth. Yeah. Stick them underneath there. Yeah. It shows a lot of guck, right? Germs. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you pull your hands out, and you're going to wipe it with antiseptic wipe, right? Try to get as much get, off as you can. Okay, get them all off as best you can. And now try your hands again and see what happens here. This is just one of the interactive displays that you can bring the kiddos down for the weekend. They'll love to do it. Now let's see your hands, how they look now. Quite a bit better, pretty much all gone, and that's great. Thank you, Beth. Come on down, 10 to 6, up till 9 tonight, 10 tonight. 9, 10, one of those. Let's say 9.30. And 10 to 6 tomorrow. Lots of great volunteers here from St. Peter's who have helped out. Thank you all. We'll be back, Benita, in a few minutes, and I'll be back with more on the weather coming up. Back to you, Elaine. Okay, thank you, Bob. News Channel 13 and St. Peter's Health Partners are teaming up again this year for a journey through the body. Benita is live at Colony Center to tell us more. Hey, Benita. Hi there, Elaine. Oh, this is just going great. There are so many people, but I tucked into a quiet corner for a moment because I've got a quiz for all the viewers. Do you know what these are? They are the smallest bones in your body, and they are in your ear. Yeah, you can take a look at these while you're down here, a journey through the body, but you know what's even better? You get a chance to walk through a model ear. So let's go take a tour. 
There's a lot of stuff going on inside the ear that's got to be working. So when you say, can you hear me now? That's what's got to be functional. Tiana Pendleton is going to join us now. Tiana, you work with kids and adults and their ability to speak and hear, and they're all tied together. Yes, they are, actually. And what do we need to know as we start making our journey through this part of the body? Well, we start our tour of the ear, of the outside of the ear that we typically see here, the pinna. It's the part of the ear that we might get our ears pierced in. Sound is traveled through the pinna, through the inner ear here here where our brain is going to transfer that sound so that we can understand what we're hearing. The eardrum will transfer that sound to an electrical stim that a brain will use to tell us what we're what we're listening to so we understand what we're hearing. And the way we translate that for children here is if we clap our hands, oh, the lights flicker. The lights will flicker to let us know that our brain is activated and is hearing the sound that we're hearing. So that hopefully if we take care of our ears now, we won't have hearing loss later on in life. So don't crank up those earbuds. Correct. <laughs> Exactly right. With me now is Jim Reed. He is the president of St. Peter's Health Partners. Jim, you're a family practice doctor by training. To come down here, see the kids learn about hearing and all these other things, what does that say to the ability to teach kids to be healthy? Oh, a tremendous impact. If you can see something, you can touch something, particularly for children, but even us adults. I mean, it has a tremendous impact on all of us. Um, I don't know how many times when I was in uh, medical practice, I I would have an adult come in and say to me, Dr. Reed, I'm ready to stop smoking. And I would say, well, why now? What, what, what decided you now? And uh, he would say, well, my daughter came home from school. She saw a picture of what a smoker's lung looked like. She came home and said, Daddy, you got to stop. And here they can see an actual lung as well. Jim, thanks very much. You can come on down. And maybe, kids, you're going to encourage your parents to be a little healthier. We're here till 9 o'clock tonight and again tomorrow from 10 to 6. Back to you, Elaine. Okay, thanks, Benita. We'll be right back. Now, your first warning forecast with meteorologist Bob Kabachi. All righty, we're back here at County Center, journey through the body. A lot of youngsters and uh, grown-ups roaming around, checking all the displays, and we'll talk about uh, hmm, the lungs in a couple minutes. <laughs> Let's talk about weather. First. Olivia, you get the assignment. You have the healthy lungs. What do you think? Can you touch them? See, I'm a wimp. I'm going to have dinner, so I'm not going to touch them. What do you think? Squishy. They're good sheep, but these are healthy because they pink and they look healthy, right? Yeah. Now, Bill, what about these lungs? What They're do you think? unhealthy. Because why? They're diseased, probably smoking. That's what happens when you smoke. Is your lungs look like that, and that's not good, right? Yeah, they're black. Smoking is bad, right? Yeah, they're black. <laughs> okay. Thank you, guys. Hey, have a fun weekend down here. Lots of going on. Check it out. Come on down to Colony Center. 10 to till 9 tonight, 10 to 6 tomorrow. That'll do it. We'll be back with more in a few minutes. Back to Elaine. Okay. Thank you, Bob. And that is it for us. Before we go, another check of your forecast with Chief Meteorologist Bob Kovacic live at Colony Center for Journey Through the Body. Bob, take it away. You, yes, Elaine, you got it. Indeed. Let's take a look at the weekend forecast. It's still cold. Not quite as windy tomorrow as it was during the day. Red. Rachel from St. Peter's is uh, taking my pulse, and she's going to tell us what it is. Go ahead, Rachel. You're 125 right now, Bob. One, that's really high? That's pretty high. Should I be not standing here? Should I be lying down? No, it's not bad. Okay. It's not bad. Thank you, Rachel. Now, you've been on TV already for an hour many times, Mr. Chicken. What do you want to say? We are the foods of Berlin. Come Where's on, the chicken sound you were going to make? Bok, bok. Thank you. <laughs> back, to, on, back to Jim. We'll be back with more coming up, guys. <laughs> WNYT, Albany, in HD. News Channel 13, live at 6, begins right now. Chief Meteorologist Bob Kovacic has a first look at your weekend forecast, live from Colony Center. Hi, Bob. All right, right you are, Jim. And you looking for something to do this weekend? Get out of the house. It's chilly. You can't be playing baseball. 
perhaps you can't be digging in the garden it's too cold come on down to county center journey through the body till nine o'clock tonight ten to six tomorrow let's do the weather quickly first and we'll talk about uh, some of the displays right. here. let's go to the uh, to the display here your di digestive system check this out here's the colon mouth esophagus stomach liver gallbladder pancreas small intestine large intestine rectum it's all here a lot of displays benita has been through the heart she's going to show us a walk through the heart right coming up in a couple minutes it's a great display Play. Lots for the kids to do, and the grown-ups too. Check it out at County Center, right outside of Sears, along the corridor here. Lots of fun. All right, that's it for now. We'll send it back to uh, Jim. All right, we'll see you later on. Thanks, Bob. Welcome back. Ever wanted to travel through a giant heart or a brain? News Channel 13 and St. Peter's Health Partners are once again teaming up for a journey through the body. Benita on live at Colony Center to tell us more. Hi, Benita. Hi there, Jim, and we are in front of this huge walk-through heart. It's brand new this year, came all the way from Texas so that all the kids could learn about this. And it's just fascinating. Chase is with me now. She hasn't been in yet. Why do you want to get in the heart? Because it's in interesting. It really is, and wait till you go inside. What do you think, guys? Should we, let's go take a tour. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're going to talk to Sue Tessier from the cath lab at St. Peter's. Hi, Sue. Hi, Benita. Now, where part of the heart are we standing in right now? Right now, we are in the right atrium. And what happens here? This is where the blood gathers. It comes from the rest of the body. The deoxygenated blood first comes here to the right atrium. All right, from here, the blood is going to go. We're moving into the next chamber. We're going to the right ventricle. Okay. <laughs> Some people are born with a hole in their heart. If you look down here. Mm-hmm. But you can fix it. You can, yes. This is a great journey. Let's keep going. Okay. Oh, my. Now we are in the left ventricle. This is oxygenated blood. It's going to go out the aortic valve, and that's where it gets pumped to the whole rest of the body. It keeps us going. Yes, it does. So as we finish our journey... I hope they realize that it is one of the most important parts of their body. They need to keep it healthy. They need to exercise. They need to eat well. Fruits, vegetables, go outside and play. Keep it strong. All very good advice, and the kids are still inside getting that tour. With me now is Steve Boyle. He's the CEO for St. Uh, Peter's Health Partners. You took the tour. I did.